Leagues 2 Trailblazer has finally been released. The game mode launched at 12.30 GMT on Wednesday the 28th of October and Jagex released the full list of tasks and relic effects just two and a half hours prior. Whilst I had a rough idea of what regions I was going to pick and had done a little bit of planning over the past couple of weeks, the info dump always had the potential to make me either partially or completely change my routes. I was originally planning to go Desert, Kandarin, Taranwin to take advantage of being able to craft tons of darts for an eventual blowpipe but then the task release and the desert looked pretty sparse in terms of points and tasks. I decided to take a bit more time to plan my route and consider dropping the desert for another region. I hopped into the server, selected my first relic being Endless Harvest and started working on getting as many tasks done as possible. My aim for the first day was to unlock another relic in region and get myself into a position where I had a couple of good sources of AFK namely being yew trees and karambwan fishing. Endless harvest seemed like the perfect first relic choice for me given that I'd have plenty of AFK time up my sleeve when I couldn't play actively. I welcome you to day one of Leagues 2 Trailblazer and the start of my journey into figuring out just what the heck my plan for the league would be. So I think this lap will take me up to 250 league points overall, basically just trying to rush as many points and tasks as I can. Another easy 50 points here, gonna head over to Tree Spirits now, try and get myself a rune axe and maybe make some money from the nature rune drops which I can sell just for a little bit of extra cash. Oh, that is perfect. I think that probably would have been the last kill or so, running very low on my runes. So yeah, got plenty of axes to elk and sell. Um, this rune axe is gonna be very handy for use later on. Time to unlock my first relic, quite an easy choice to be honest, it's going to be Last Recall. This has a lot of really interesting uses and to be honest I'm looking forward to training runecrafting with this. It's going to be ridiculous just going to a bank and then going straight back to the altar with the uh, teleport. The next thing that I started working on was unlocking birdhouses. I figured this would be a pretty good thing to do early on just because the nest would eventually come in for herb lore and for the bruise for bossing and yeah it's an easy way to get passive hunter levels it means I wouldn't really need to actively train it so I just ended up doing a bunch of quests did the Varrock Museum quiz and Daddy's Home and started working on uh, yeah unlocking the things I needed in my house to be able to craft my very first clockworks and birdhouses. So my very first birdhouse run has taken me all the way up to 34 hunter and the XP is only going to get more crazy as I get access to higher level birdhouses so going to try and keep up with these as much as I can. Right well that is 60 wood cutting which is actually my first level 60 so a very nice 100 points but it's the yew trees that I was after mainly that's going to be a good source of AFK whenever I need it. I am ready to unlock my next area and I've decided it is definitely going to be Kandarin. There's quite a lot of tasks that I can do there reasonably quickly, some really good quests for early XP and by the time I'm ready to unlock my next area I should hopefully have made a decision on whether I'm going to be taking desert or not. So locking in Kandarin. Sea Slug was definitely a quest I was looking forward to doing. I think you get about 7,000 fishing XP, which with the modifiers is going to give me some really nice levels. So, see how far. Yeah, there we go. 16 to 44 fishing just from one quest. Really good. 80 wood cutting. So, I believe that is another 50 points or so. Well, it's a hard task. So that's another 100 points, which is really nice. I don't really want to go much further than this at 8x. So I'm going to probably try and train another skill AFK, maybe mining just because it's probably more efficient to wait until I get the 12 or 16x before going for 99. Working my way through some easy candering quests, I'd like to get a high crafting level so that I can get better birdhouses. Use would be ideal but that is 60 crafting so definitely need to do some more training before I can reach that. Fight Arena quest is going to give me some good early attack XP, 40 at the moment and that boosts me all the way up to 52 which is really really nice. It is time to unlock relic number three. I have racked up 2,000 points and it is time for the first combat relic. I'm going to be going with quick shot, which is going to be absolutely insane when paired with things like the blowpipe or the crystal bow later on. So yeah, that is definitely the one that I'm going to be using. Looking forward to putting this into action. All right, this is the big one, waterfall quest, and this should get me up to like 58 attack, I think. 
Oh, and 50 strength as well. That is really nice. Basically skipping all of the melee training and very close to being able to wield dragon weaponry as well. I'm pretty far away from hitting the fourth relic. So my next focus is going to be unlocking my next area. So I'm just going to burst through as many tasks as I can. I need to do 44 to unlock the next area. I just completed my first achievement diary being the easy Karamja diary. And the nice one about this is the XP lamp doesn't have a level requirement. So while it's only 1000 base XP, it's a really good way to start the herb law skill. You can see I've gone from level three to level 25. And I also happen to get a book of knowledge from a random event. So that would be a nice little bit of XP on top. Getting close to 30, then I'll be doing the Varrock and Ardoin easy diaries for some even more easy XP. Was really looking forward to getting this one done. Elemental Workshop 2 gives a ton of smithing and crafting XP. So up to 46 smithing now and 52 crafting. Not too far away from 60 crafting for the U birdhouses, which uh, will certainly speed up my hunter training quite a bit. Not expecting too much XP from only 56 tiers, but as this uh, mini game is only accessible once a week, I figured I would get the timer started on it anyway. And there'll be some easy farming levels that's taken me all the way to level 22 from level 6. In trying to get my hands on an Obor key, I've actually managed to get up to 30 prayer, and I did all three of the easy diaries, so I should be able to get overheads just from these XP lamps, which is going to be really nice. So use one up to 38, so that's protect from magic, I believe. One more for Protect from Melee. Hey, on the dot, very, very nice. And I believe that is a 50 point task as well. Perfect. I am now ready to choose my next region and have decided I am going to be dropping the desert. Having tried out the quick shot relic, I really don't think I'll need an awful lot of darts. So I've decided I'm actually going to go with Fremnik. It opens up a couple of bosses I enjoy being Dagonoth Kings and Vorkath and has a few other perks such as Lunas and an Avers, which I believe will take my ammo retention up to like 98%. Uh, yeah, looking forward to heading over there and doing some tasks. And I forgot that I managed to complete an easy clue. Can we get a unique? I believe that would be a task on top of the task for completing the clue itself. Yes, so what's that? 10 points for doing the clue and a further 10 points. Okay, <laughs> that's underwhelming. There we go, that is the Taibo One-Eye Trio quest completed. So I can now catch Karambons, which is gonna be a very nice source of AFK fishing and cooking experience. Time to choose relic number four and it's an easy one for me. I'm going for unnatural selection which allows you to select your slayer task. In the Twisted League I actually got bottlenecked really badly by Abyssal Demons going like 2500 dry for a whip and obviously not getting any slayer XP for them at the time. So easy pick for me and the clue relic looks pretty underwhelming so I'm going to be going with this and looking forward to training some slayer, getting some easy points by doing some uh, easy tasks. And that has been my first five days of Trailblazers guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I've had so much fun playing the league and I'm really looking forward to reaching the high level content with these relics. I am conscious that there has been a flurry of leagues videos hitting everyone's sub boxes since Wednesday. So I've tried to make my progress video a bit more condensed so that you hopefully haven't had too much of the same thing. But as always your feedback is really helpful for me. It's actually a pretty hectic time for me as I've just bought a house and have a ton of painting and decorating to do. So I'm not expecting to release an awful lot of videos, but I'm going to try for one a week if I can. If you enjoyed today's episode, feel free to drop a like and be sure to subscribe if you want to catch the next episode when it drops. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you all very soon.